welcome to this episode today. Today we're going to be talking about ISO aperture and shutter, the three basic features you need to know in order to use your DSLR camera effectively and to get the best quality images as you possibly can within whatever you're shooting. So let's get started. Right, let's get started. So what we're going to be talking about today is aperture, shutter and ISO and why those three, three things are probably the most important things that you need to know in terms of your photography development of your skills. Whether you're shooting long distance shots of portraits, of uh, buildings, of people, whatever it may be, you need to make sure you understand those three features. All cameras have them, DSLRs, mirrorless, uh, smartphones and if you want to sort of become a little bit more sort of savvy with your photography skills you need to be able to master those three skills so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this camera on so I'm doing it on a Canon 7D so I've switched this camera on it's in manual mode okay so I've got it in manual mode as you can see I'm going to go to my LCD screen and I'm going to switch it on as you can see there's my LCD screen and here I've got the three features that I'm referring to I've got my shutter, which is this this one over here. So my Q button allows me to put it on, and this little button here allows me to hover through it, like so. And essentially, my um, shutter is that one there. Okay. What is your shutter? Well, your shutter is like a little gate inside your camera, and essentially, you control how quick it opens. So, for example, if you have a quick shutter speed, it'd be like that. If it's a slow shutter speed, it'd be like that. So if you want a slow shutter speed, you want more light to go into your camera. Okay, so if I click on the Q button here, I can control that. So I can change it. So if I take it down to maybe what a one thirtieth of a second, one thirtieth of a second, and press the uh, take the picture, it will sort of kind of try to focus into the area that you wanted to take the image of. There you go. See how quick that was. If I reduce it down. Okay, so if I reduce it down, you can see that's much slower. Okay, um, why you would have it slower is maybe maybe you might be doing slow shutter speed images, uh, light drawings, etc. So you would reduce that down to below one second, and that will allow you to capture slow moving imagery. And also, if you shoot in lowly environments, say maybe you do it in the night or in the dark, then you want a slower shutter speed because you want to allow more light into the camera to uh, expose your image onto the digital sensor. Your sh uh, aperture is this one here. So your aperture is basically a little hole that opens and closes. So for example, if it's for example f.29, uh, that's a big number but it's a very small opening. What does that mean? Basically, inside your camera, you've got the shutter and then you've got a little hole. So you can let less light into the camera with that hole. So the shutter and the ISO need to work together parallel. Um, so if you've got a, a, a high F number, which is a, a really small shutter speed, that might be, you might want to shoot in a really light, bright environment. If you've got a smaller number, say for example, you've got F, and this, this one goes to f5.6, you got a bigger opening. So smaller number, bigger opening. What does that mean? That means more light is going through to your camera sensor. So as a rule, if you're shooting in a sort of kind of like a kind of um, a dimmed environment with very low um, light content in that environment, you might want a smaller f number, maybe 5.6, and you might want a, a slightly slower shutter speed of maybe 1 30th or 1 40th of a second okay um, so those two things work together the third thing that's really important to your photography is the ISO and this is essentially the sensitivity of light so when light is passing through when light is passing through the shutter when it opens so the, so the, the shutter opens and then there's a hole that hole um, detects light and it detects a sensitivity of light you can also adjust that so for example if you're shooting outdoors on a nice bright day you might have a really large f number of maybe eight or nine because you want less light to go in and you might want a, uh, a reasonable shutter speed of one fortieth of a second so your sensitivity of light is basically um your iso so your iso 
you can increase and decrease it like so okay so for example if you shoot outdoor, uh, indoors and it's a quite a dimmed environment you might want a higher ISO the only thing about the ISO is the higher it goes the more grainy it could get your picture could get in a um, in a dark environment so you'll get that sort of grainy look if that's what you're looking for okay but um, you what you really want to do is you want to control your ISO so you, what I would suggest you do is if you're in a dark like like a sort of darkish environment you might want to play around with your shutter speed and the, your aperture first and then play around with your ISO to get the right balance of imagery but essentially guys those three things there are the most important things to your photography uh, development and you need to know how to control your uh, shutter speed you need to ha know how to call and control your aperture with your f number so again the larger the f number the smaller the opening the smaller the f number the bigger the opening so you need to really control that how much light goes into your camera and your ISO is essentially your um, your sensitivity of light those are the three key components on your DSLR mirrorless smartphone that you need to know everything else filters smart filters and all these other things you can learn but just try playing around with those three things on a DSLR camera before you do anything else to get yourself up to speed and spec thanks for watching any questions please post and I'll be happy to respond to anything that you may have see you later guys bye bye